Don't do that. You don't take advantage of men to enrich yourself. The sin unto death. What, what is money for? How dare you? How dare you? When I got there, it was after that. The, the top persons and ministries, they were all calling me in, telling me what was happening. If you're watching, Pastor, I've told you, this is the final text. Calculate everything that you, you took from people and wait for my further instructions. Because every cent must be refunded. Every cent must be sent. I don't want any cent from India. I don't want. I'm not taking one cent. Everything must be refunded on my instructions. Back. But the offerings that they gave, everything must be sent back to them. Everything. I'm waiting for something. My name was used to, call, to collect money from India. So I'm dealing with that nonsense. I will come out until that man I'm, I've, to, I've told him calculate everything you collected from people because I'm asking him to refund it back. Give me a detailed things you collected or I will hand him over to Satan for the destruction of his body. I told him this. You don't play with me. People we are, they collected money. They are bleeding. And thank God in the last day where I had that conference, they were all there. The, the last day, there were hundreds of people, but they had paid 30,000 rupees, 40,000 to see me packed in the car. God said to me, he, he revealed it. And I stood, I said, how many of you have paid to consult me? All of them raised their hands. I said, I did not ask for one cent. I exposed it there. And I told the pastor, and I started hearing all kinds of money we are raised and all kinds of things. So, I've told him, I sat with him, and I gave him the word of, of the Lord. I said, if you ever Take one cent of this. Report. I just I said, do what is right. Thus says the Lord. And this man must be marked. Men of that must be what? Marked. If he does the right thing, I will spare him. I will spare him. Not God. I will spare him. If he does the wrong thing, I will hand him over to Satan for the destruction of his body. You don't dare use what I carry to extort people. Who are you? You're not born yet. That's a sin unto death. And as an apostle, I will stand on my apostolic mandate to hand him over to Satan. Paul didn't consult God to hand people over to Satan. Uh, he's, 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 he's an apostle. He's a defender of the kingdom. Fools use the grace of God on a man for their selfish enrichment. You have not built any influence. You just took advantage. From now on, all my conferences to any nation will be purely done by me. Organized by me. And pull it through. Not, I'm, I will never use any other person. There's going to be a group of people in, in that nation 
we will come in and we instruct it. We, we, I, I realize that, that people take advantage of people so quickly. This man collected millions with my name because Pastor John is known in India. If you want to meet the man of God, give this. And I told him from the beginning to not collect one cent from anybody. Freely you have received, freely we give. We are coming not to make money from India. We are coming to change the lives of Indians. We are coming to serve India. I paid for my flight. I paid for it. We're not here for money. This man collected money. I will deal with him. Me? I pray that he's watching. I will deal with him. I'll put his picture and I say, this one, mark him. And you will be marked all, all over the world. You will not know that you don't extort with the name of the Lord. Don't Fuck! <laughs>